we honor the very best in high school sports. Let's start with the 25 Sports Prep Rally Athlete of the Week. Our first finalist is from the first Dunlap team to ever win the Middle Illini. Dunlap guard Sophia Remmel has had a terrific year. She can beat you on the outside. She can beat you off the dribble. She can beat you in transition. And she helped Dunlap beat enough teams. Lily Slender, the great outlet pass right here to win the Middle Illini title. Sophia Remmel, our first finalist. Eureka, like I said, won their fifth straight HOI conference title. They've got a sophomore leading the way for them as well. Ellie Cahill. Uh, Eureka's got a pretty balanced attack, but Cahill, one of the big stars as they win the HOI title. But our winner is IBC's Holt Geltmaker. He became the Grey Ghost all-time leading scorer, breaking a record set by Craig Parr some 40 years ago. Congratulations to Holt Geltmaker, the high-flying ghost, and the Prep Rally Athlete of the Week. Time now for the Prep Rally Plays of the Week. We'll go right back to that uh, Dunlap guard we just talked about. Sophia Remmel high off the glass for the three-point play and the big smile right there. Brimfield is undefeated on the season. Ella Loon is going to do the 360. Look at the footwork by Loon for the bucket. Love this highlight. Morton's Raquel Frakes is going to The Potters are going to pound the offensive glass. Raquel Frakes eventually will get the rebound and the instantaneous assist to Kaelin Cowley. Great fundamental basketball right there. We head to the boys in Bloomington's Adam Beasley with the ridiculous up and under reverse. That ball had some English. I hope he has an A in English class. Peoria Manuel down two with six seconds to go at Peoria High. Justin Page to Jerron Traps at the buzzer. The three to win it. Manuel winning the big rivalry game on that three-pointer by Traps. We will fly above the rim. Metamora's Zach Schroeder to Ethan Kaiser. That's a pretty nice inbounds play. And how about normal communities? Zach Cleveland. This one had people uh, going to buzz. Watch Cleveland rip down the rebound on one end and then take off with his point guard, Trey Red. Red throws it up, and Cleveland cleans up with a huge alley-oop. We'll show it to you one more time. Those are whew, your prep rally plays of the week. Time now for the Prep Rally Defensive Plays of the Week. Uh, same Ironman duo are going to get involved here. Actually, Robbie Brent doing a great job pressuring the ball. Allows Trey Red to sneak in on the double team and get the steal. Then Red finds Zach Cleveland for the and one three-point play in their big win over Champaign Central. Uh, Peoria Notre Dame's Toledo Madrigal is going to come up with a swipe. And then he's going to take a little European vacation. The Euro step finish by Toledo Madrigal. Brinkfield's Ella Loon is going to get the swat on defense. Eh, denied, and Brimfield will run the fast break. Elon Peterson to Sophie Bedell as the Brimfield girls go defense to offense. And we'll wrap up with Washington's Tyler Bass. He's had a great year for the Panthers, the senior star with the swipe, the uh, dunk, the hang, and wrapping up our play of the week. Our student athlete of the week now. We honor Morton High School's Curtis Boyer. Boyer has been a team manager for the Potters for four years. And in the Potters' final home game last week against Dunlap, Boyer got to put a uniform on. Not only did he get a uniform on, he got a three-point shot up. And, of course, nothing but net. What a thrill for that young man, Curtis Boyer. What a great moment and a chance for us to thank all the team managers out there in today's Student Athlete of the Week. All right, it's time now for Throwback Thursday, and we're going to kind of be reminded of a, a star on Prep Rally the last few years and what he's up to. On Throwback Thursday, we're checking out Normal West standout quarterback Carson Camp. He was a three-year starter at Normal West. I thought maybe the best quarterback in the state of Illinois last year as a senior. Well, he went to South Dakota, and in his first game, he came home. South Dakota took on Illinois State, and there was Carson Camp engineering the upset of Illinois State, so he kind of made the home fans a little upset. But watch him step up in the pocket and throw a touchdown pass. Carson Camp, a true freshman starting quarterback. Great to see things going so well early in his career. All right, time for a break. Up next, there's an old football joke. What does the N stand for? Stands for knowledge. <laughs> 